Mars does a research station. Two weeks in isolation. Six near strangers. Meet Olivia Allen, Shane Hume, Dylan Nixteen, Sean Haryaharan, Alex Goldrup, and Hilary Hernandez. See the highs and the lows as we close the airlock at MPRS. Welcome to the Mars Desert Research Station. You've met our team, and now we're getting settled into the habitat where we live. And here, let me reintroduce you to our fantastic team and show you where we live. Welcome to the first floor of the habitat. Let me close the door real fast. We can first walk over to our crew scientist, Olivia. She has two sets of plants. We have green onions, we have tomatoes, where she's testing different growth rates based upon different variables she's She's looking at. Uh, we can also take a look, oh, of course, safety first here at the habitat. We have a really fantastic set of emergency equipment in case, well, anyone gets hurt or injured. Let me go ahead and close this up. Resources are limited here at the station. We are simulating Mars life. Uh, we are separating all of our garbage into burnable and non burnable. Another limitation of our habitat is water. Here we have one of the sinks. Crew botanist, Julio, good to hey, see you, man. Do you mind if we use this? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, thank you. This is our, one of our half baths. We have a sink, we have some storage, we have a shower. We have enough water to roughly take a shower once every three days. Oh, and our crew bought us again. Thank you. Go you might have used the restroom? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Just quickly, we can just peer at the bathroom. Fantastic. Now, moving on. We have our executive officer. She's taking a look at our radios and GPS. How are we looking for tomorrow? GPSs and walkies are almost fully charged for EVA. Perfect. Now, we perform extravehicular activities, or EVAs, almost once a day. And we have two sets of three people that go on these, uh, these three-hour excursions outside. And this is the room where we get changed into our spacesuits. Here, let's take a look. Our EVA suit, one of them here. And we have our crew engineer, Shrovan. Hey, How's Commander. It tomorrow? It's looking pretty good. Just trying to make sure our astronauts get plenty of airflow for mission tomorrow. And it looks like we're in business. Fantastic. So these are the AC units right here. Yep. So these fans provide ventilation so our astronauts get plenty of air out in the Martian environment. Wonderful. And fantastic. And prior to leaving to the Martian environment, we have to go through this airlock. This is a, a room where we essentially decompress for roughly five minutes prior to leaving to the Martian environment. And that just about wraps it up for the first floor of the habitat. Here, we can walk upstairs and check out the second floor. You're botanist. You're all over the place. <laughs> and then, of course, we have to climb this, this ladder to get up to the top. Welcome to the second floor of the habitat. We spend a lot of time up here. Here we can see our bedrooms. This is the dining table. And then if we have a pan over this way, we see our kitchen. If I walk over this way, you can see we also spend some time here on our couches in the evening. Now we can spend a little bit more time talking about the bedrooms. If you kind of look over this way, we have six of them in total with doors. And we have a seventh up here for a loft, if we were to have a seventh crew member. This, this rotation, we have six. Here we have our dining table, where right now we're doing a lot of work. We have our executive officer, Jana, and Alex, our health and safety officer. We have a big EVA tomorrow. Alex, how's it going? So far, so good. Just plotting the coordinates on our map. Given the weather conditions, I think we'll be able to arrive safely. Now, we can also go ahead and take a look at one of the bedrooms. Pretty simple. In total, we have a bed, a desk, and a window. We have Julio, our crew botanist here in the kitchen. Besides being a fantastic scientist and engineer, he's really quite the cook. Well, what are you making right now, Leo? Pardon me. Oh, you fun. <laughs> Getting ready to make some stir fry. Oh, fantastic. And here we have a beautiful refrigerator and freezer. We have plenty of rice refrigerated with water and some beef. Trevor, are, are you looking at the water right now? I am, yes. How's it look? Uh, let's just say, no more showers today. He's joking, he's joking. 
Julio, do you mind if we look at your pantry? Go ahead. Fantastic. We have primarily dehydrated food because it reduces the amount of weight uh, getting into Mars. And because we're halfway through our mission, we're starting to go through our supply, but Julio's doing a great job keeping us on track, making sure we have contingent food for the rest of the mission. And finally, we have an air purifier presented by Molecule. It's been able to keep us breathing nice and clean through our, our mission, and this is one of the ones that they provided us with. All right, and that about wraps it up for the second floor of our habitat. Uh, we can go ahead and move on to the green half from here. Come on in. We're experiencing 40 mile per hour gusts today, so excuse the wind. Here it looks like we have our crew scientist and our crew botanist as well. By the way, much warmer in this room. Outside, it's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, it's closer to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, so much better, much more conducive for plants. And speaking of plants, crew botanist here is working on an experiment where he's comparing the growth rates for peas between Earth and Martian soils. How's it going so far, Julio? Looking good. Uh, turns out that peas really like Earth soil. Has to be hypothesized, perfect. Well, fantastic. We'll keep it short and sweet here in the green hab. Let's go back out into the wind and mark our way to the science stone. Come on. We are back out here in the wind, in the tunnels. Let's make our way over to the science stone. Hi there, Commander. Executive officer. Come on in. Come on in. One of my favorite buildings on the entire campus. Probably because of the view. Here, take a look. Crew help, crew safety officer. I, I'm jealous. This is really gorgeous. What a gorgeous day. I love working here and just seeing the view every day while we're at work. You're working on the space farm for Dream. Tell, tell us more about that. Yeah, well, it's from Dream Up, which is a K through 12 STEM education nonprofit. The Space Farmer Dream Kit is all about plant growth in space and teaching students the difference between the effect of gravity versus microgravity on plants. So we're demoing it here and we'll take our findings back to our students on Earth. Perfect. We'll check back later in the week too. You might recall this from the second floor of the habitat. This is the Molecule Air, one of the other products from Molecule. It's a donation from their brand and it's really helping with our pandemic prevention. Uh, we are in the pandemic still after all. Your scientists. This is our negative 20 Celsius freezer, and these are some of our soil samples? Yes, uh, these are the soil samples that we collected while we were out on EVAs over the last few days. Our next step is for me and Shana to reduce this down to 3 grams, so we're able to send a smaller sample back to the lab for analysis. Fantastic. From that, we'll learn all about the geologic composition of these samples, which after all comes from an analog terrain to Mars, and we'll be able to draw conclusions about the presence of extremophiles and life on Mars. Well, that's enough for the Science Stone. That was fantastic. Really one of the best buildings on campus. Let's go make our way over the ramp. We're back in the tunnels one last time. We're on the way to the ramp, the repairs and assembly module. Let's go inside. Come on in. Crew engineer. Hey, Commander. How's it going? Hey. What are you working on? Just uh, prepping for some repairs we have to get done. Oh, fantastic. We won't bother you. I'm just going to show some of the tools we have here in this workshop. It's really great to have this here. This, by the way, this is a retrofitted Chinook helicopter, and it's an amazing addition to MDRS. You can't bring tools with you, especially ones that are heavy, to Mars, and so they're already here for us. We have things like screwdrivers, scissors, Take a look, we have uh, wrenches, we have cutters. It's really everything you would need. We have fasteners as well. We have our health and safety officer. How's it going? Good, a little trouble with the wind. Yeah, I know it's windy out there. Are you guys working on soldering? Yeah, just a couple of repairs we need to get done. It's you know, good to keep our skills sharp while we're in here. Totally. Do, do you guys need any tools, by the way, while I'm here? Oh, not at all. We actually have everything we need right here in this workshop. Fantastic. Well, that will end us for the tour here today. Uh, you, we're, we're glad to show you MDRS. It's really a fantastic opportunity to be here. Excited to see what the next week 
has in store for us. But for the time being, I'm gonna get out of here and go back to the house. You guys need anything? No, we're great. Thank you, Commander. All good. Bye, guys. We'll see you at dinner. See ya.